Hi. Um, I haven't really made a video in a long time, and I feel like I'm losing my voice, which is really making me mad because normally when I lose my voice, I start to get sick. So, yeah. But I haven't made a video in a while, and it's going to be another rant video because that seems to work for me. Although I don't really get mad that often, but yeah. There's this one person that I've been watching on YouTube, and she's really funny. And yeah, so that kind of gave me the idea of like rant videos, but yeah. So it's only, before I start my rant, it's only been like four months, almost five months of the new year, and I've already. If I'm getting sick right now, then it's going to be the sixth time that I've gotten sick so far this year. So, yeah. But, okay, so the first thing that I want to rant about is hair. Because I got my hair cut, trimmed actually, and like thinned out. And it looks terrible, in my opinion. I mean, normally when I used to get my hair like cut and stuff um I mean in my opinion I look a lot better in person than I do on camera and so yeah but when it like grows out it looks all nice and choppy and stuff and like I went to go get my hair cut on Saturday which was 420 and yeah it just I don't know I mean my bangs are still really long they've been like a lot shorter but they are not as long as I, they just, I just don't like it on me at least. I think that I look weird. So yeah, and uh, I think that it's really annoying when people, sn like, after the bell rings in class, they like sneak in the room and then people are just like, Look, there's Josie, she's late. Josie, hi. Like, okay. But I think that, like, I think it's funny when you walk in, like, two minutes late or something, and everyone just stares at you, like, it's just like, dude, I didn't murder somebody. Like, calm down. And, yeah, Cha Cha makes me so mad. Like, you can ask it a question. And it's supposed to tell you the answer, but when I tried to ask it, oh yeah, I made a duct tape bracelet. It's purple, if you can see it. Well, it's not as purple on the camera as it is on my wrist, but oh well. Um, yeah, so I asked Cha Cha, like, something, I think about hookah, I think. I don't remember. It gave me the definition of what, like, a beret was. I was just like, what? No, I asked you a question about hookah and you give me a definition about something that doesn't have to do with hookah at all. So, I don't know, that just, that was really funny. I was just like, okay, I don't think that I'm going to um, listen to Chacha's answers anymore. Dude, I absolutely think that commercial business is so stupid. Like, they can make any... They can basically put any commercial idea they want on um, TV, I swear. Like, I think that my favorite, I don't really know what my favorite commercial is. I think it's the one, wow, I look so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> my hair looks so terrible. Look, okay, I think that I look like a troll, okay, like... Where's my bridge? <laughs> like, okay, so my hair, it'll, like, flare out, kind of. Sometimes it'll look really bad. And, um, yeah. And then it just, wow, this looks terrible. <laughs> Whatever, the good thing about hair is it'll grow back, so stay calm. I mean, I'm, like, the biggest hair fanatic ever, and I mean, yeah, I think it's bad, but I kind of make fun of myself kind of like a mullet. Oh, Josie's the chick with the mullet. <laughs> Whatever. It'll go back to 
decent, I guess. But, um, yeah, so, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, commercials. My favorite commercial is that one where they, like, um, the guy, he's sitting there, and he's just, like, uh, talking to the kids about, I don't remember what the commercial was about, but the kids were just, like, and then if you want more, like, you want more. If you have less of something, then your parents say that you can't have it, but, like, you want more. And then the guy's just like, uh-huh, I follow. And, oh, my God, it was so funny. But, like, they put the stupidest things about commercials. Like, I love the Geico commercials, but there's this one, and, like, he, the gecko person, he's just sitting there laughing, and it's just like, um, like, basically kind of like they messed up or something so it's always like cut cut and then like the gecko keeps laughing and stuff and then like they're just like god cut 15 minutes it will save you 15 percent more on car insurance you're like whatever it is and yeah like what is the point of that what does that have to do with saving money at all <laughs> like it's so weird and I swear they have such false advertisement it is not even funny there was this one commercial and, um, what was it? I think it was, um, I think it was a commercial for food. I don't really remember, but, like, people were, like, flying and stuff. And I was just, like, so basically, they were implying that if you use their product, that, oh, I know what it was. It was this, okay, I loved this commercial, actually, but it was a commercial for Vans. And there was, like, a parade going down the street or something. And I was just like, so they're basically implying that if you use their product, you'll get a parade, I guess. And there was this other commercial about, like, stuff flying. And I was just like, so if you eat their product, you will be able to fly. <laughs> but, I don't know, like, that's just kind of how I think of stuff. Like, just to make fun of commercials. Because I make fun of commercials, like, all the time. And, yeah, last thing that I want to talk to you about is that I have been practicing my driving lately, and, yeah, have in mind, I am turning 16 in October, but I don't even, I'm not even in driver's training yet, I'm not even, like, yeah, I'm... Yeah, I don't have my permit yet. I don't have, like, anything, but I just kind of, like, wanted to drive for fun and stuff. And so, yeah, like, my mom, she always, whenever I'm, I'm not good at reversing. Like, I can be, but I'm just kind of bad at it. And so I reversed into, like, the parking space. And, uh, I hope that you can see it. I don't know, but basically, I parked on the line, and I took up two parking spaces, and it was really funny. So, yeah, I, like, I got a kick out of it. <laughs> and, like, there's this thing, and, like, on this one street that I went on, where if you go down the street, it's a dead end, and there's, like, a circle. I am not good at circles at all. And, yeah, so I tried to do it, and I always end up, like, almost hitting a mailbox, or, like, driving over grass and so my mom she's always just like oh, Josie and I'm just like mom would you just let me drive <laughs> and so yeah I like if you are going to help somebody practice driving or you're going to drive don't yell at the driver because they are stressing out just as much as you might be panicking and having anxiety and all that stuff because you're just kind of over exaggerating the situation unless they're really bad at driving then yes but I mean if you have your seatbelt on then yeah and if you didn't trust the person then don't get in the car with them but yeah so I mean that's really the best advice I guess and if they're like drunk or high or something then definitely don't get in the car although people say that like Apparently, you concentrate better if you're high and driving, but I just kind of think that that's really stupid to take the risk to see if you actually are good at driving when you're under the influence. So, I mean, don't do that. <laughs> Other than that, have fun. It's going to be...
Friday in like two days or something. Yeah, it's Wednesday, so enjoy your weekend and yeah, bye guys.